New this morning, one of Lakota's, uh, which is the largest, one of the largest school districts uh, in the tri-state, um, they will be doing things a little differently. They don't just want a safe environment for kids, but also a culturally welcoming one. And with that, we go to WCPO 9 News reporter Jasmine Miner live to explain what's in store for Lakota students this year that has been different than before. Good morning, Jasmine. Well, good morning, Julie. I don't know about you, but when I was growing up in school, the extent that I learned about black history, race and culture was very little. And a lot of our local school districts are realizing that. In fact, they tell me that the Black Lives Matter protests that we've seen over the last couple of months served as a wake up call, a call that's led to change right here for Lakota local schools. A pandemic doesn't mean there's time to waste. I think now's the time for us to have these conversations even more and more people are listening. Senior Director of Outreach, Diversity and Inclusion for Lakota Local Schools, Elgin Card, says students are going to see changes in their curriculum this year. Make sure that our literature shows different people and different, different types of people in the literature. Card says he's been working hard to change the curriculum and retraining teachers to be able to teach a more in-depth, inclusive history. Hire more diverse staff. I want teachers, I want aides, I want people. Um, of different color religions. And it's demands that are being made across the tri-state. The state and well-being of your black students is highly threatened. Eshawn Walker wrote an open letter to his alma mater, St. X, demanding more be done to teach black history in classes. This has been the virus that has been plaguing us longer than COVID. A virus, he says, that forced him to live a double life through high school. You understand that Christopher Columbus did not discover America. But you also understand that you have to put that down as your answer on the test. Walker says he wants St. X to have more diversity on their board, a black alumni association, and more resources and programs to teach about racism. And he says it's not something that can wait. It's often labeled as is not that important. We can put that on hold and nothing could be even more dangerous. And for those schools who may not have the resources to start new curriculum or programs, Card says bring in someone new. Find a guest speaker. It's hard to understand other people's experiences if you know nobody that has those experiences. Well, Walker did get a chance to speak to the president of St. X, who gave us a statement. This is from President Tim Riley. It says, quote, when I reflect on my own years at St. Xavier, it is obvious we have come a long way, including growing our diverse student population to over 20 percent. He went on to say, please know that we continue to have conversations around our current initiatives and the opportunities to improve or change those programs. Well, some of those programs include in-person civil rights speakers, a student-run organization on cultural education, and a course called Other Voices, which study uh, different people like Malcolm X and Maya Angelou. I've got a full uh, his full statement on my Twitter right now at Jazz and Minor TV. So check that out. I'm reporting live in Westchester, Jazz and Minor, WCPO 9 News. Thank you.